Hi folks, I've brought you back to my notorious um, house that affected me for days house. Um, I've come back because it's um, worthy of um, a, a proper look. Um, because it's extremely historical. This house is so historical. It was um, first settled back in the late 1800s. Um, and I thought I'd come back and have a proper look because there is so much more to have a look at. Um, and I've come in from a different angle. You'll see this is the back door. So I'll have a look, start from here. We're having a look in the garage. Shit. Um, not too much to see in here. Don't know what that is. Oops. Um, it's just a garage. There's some of the old balustrade off the front stairs uh, that somebody tried to save. Uh, and let's go in the back way. Okay, so here I am. I've come in the back door through. It was a laundry room. Um, okay, somebody's alrighty. Somebody's been in here because in my video I pulled this door right here. Um, if people watched all the way through, I pulled the door closed to try and keep animals out, but now it's on the floor and it's smashed. So anyway, um, so this is the kitchen. I'm pretty sure this was this definitely was the main homestead, and you'll see there's a whole lot of workers' cottages that this house, the way it's set up with the kitchen and the big servery and all that sort of stuff, um, would have been set up definitely with the workers in mind. Um, so, heaps and heaps. Somebody's broken the phone. So I'm thinking it was probably kids that's come in here. Um, the old Arga. I uh, did a bit of a search and a reconditioned second-hand one like this um, here in Australia, you're looking at about 1500 up to 2500 depending on the condition. So it's a shame to see that being wasted. Right, here's the kitchen. All right, I'll go out here. I'll go out there later. Um, because there's more to show you. This is going to be a very long video, so people know. Um, yeah, back in the bedroom. And I have my torch this time. All right, let me get it happening. Okay. Um, it's pretty light in here today compared to what it was like, so last time. Uh, because last time I was here, it was, I think it was the middle of winter, and it was raining and it was really gloomy. So, the old shelves. The old pantry, I'm pretty sure this was, I think. Or linen press, not too sure. Oh, hang on. 
Oh, it's a Band-Aid. I thought it was going to tell me what it was, but no. Oh, sorry. Um, and weird, strange weird room. Um, the bathroom again. I'm not going to linger too much on stuff that you already saw in the old video. Uh, toilet. Um, I've been trying to do some research. It's really hard to actually get any information, very minimal information on the internet. Sorry, my phone wants to do silly stuff. I should have turned it onto silent. Um, maybe at some point this it was set up as a guest house because of the amount of um, basins in here in the house in every um, bedroom makes sense so uh, all right and here that's another entrance there's so many entrances to this house um, the reason it looks so English um, especially with all the basins in all the rooms um, and the exterior with the um, bay window uh, uh, the way it is um, is because the man that settled this house was British um, came over from England um, hence the Yaga uh, So that's been smashed, the glass has been smashed as well, which is a shame because that wasn't sh smashed. Who knows, kids coming in being stupid. Not too sure what this weird little nook thing is, have no idea. Um, all right, we'll go out this way. And it would have been extended over a period of year. There you go. There's the curved, which is quite um, reminiscent, I think that is the word, I'm not too sure, of um, English architecture, because they like to have that sort of um, stuff going on. The house would have been added on to over the years. Um, where I came in, um, the, where I showed you, would have been the original homestead. and added on over the years so um, they were quite well to do this family that's the reason why yeah see there wasn't this graffiti last time um, yeah you always get little childish fools um, I'm not too sure if this is the dining room here uh, not too sure or if this here is the main dining room this looks like it could have been um, where it's located to the kitchen if this was the main dining room they had um, big um, cabinets um, sideboards all that sort of stuff and full of metals from their um, heifers um, is what I was able to find out ori um, yeah, originally. So it would have been extremely grand and with all their um, trophies and medals and all that sort of stuff. Pretty full on. Um, I just love looking through there. That's pretty amazing. It's really, really imposingly impressive. Uh, so there you go um, like I said you saw it last time uh, there is a little hatch 
for something at one point, that would have been the outside of the house at some point. Um, you can tell by the boards and the reason why they've got the little hutch. So, and like I said, they've added on over the years. Um, you got your sideboard dresser. Not too sure what this was for. Um, dumb waiter. Is it dumb waiter? Wait, um, butler's pantry. There you go. Butler's pantry. I'd be assuming because they would have had um, housekeeper. It looks very much like because it leads out to the main lounge and is handy to the dining room. So I'm thinking it was um, Butler's Pantry. All right, there you go. Um, all right, let's see what else I've got. Go out the window. Um, also, you can see the original construction, pretty much, um, of the old house. And yeah, very, very old part. Like I said, um, late 1800s. This here was original. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> and here, I had a look here. And this would have been, you can see here, let it focus. This was purposely built. There would have been some wall with some windows in here at some point um, and this has where, where is it somewhere you can I've lost it now but that was the original um, chopping block um, to the dispense of um, the kitchen produce, whatever it might have been. Chickens, ducks, whatever. Um, don't know how they killed the sheep, probably shot them. Um, and you got your old bench that was there. So it was a pretty grand setup at one point. Um, just trying to, oh, there you go. That's what I was trying to look for. And you can see, because this is all concrete floor in here, specifically and there's the drain so it was definitely set up as a some sort of um cold larder room i don't know what you call it um specifically for yeah um butchering animals there's the drain for it there and it comes out here as you can see and goes out keeps running out here I think it runs into a ditch out there so but it's an amazing house um, it's like I said when I first came here it was really gloomy the sheep and its lamb bless them um, really rocked me um, and it did affect how I saw this house that door there's the door for the toilet you got the toilet window there Strange little weird setup. I don't know what this was for. Don't know. Don't know why they planned it like that, but they did. Oh, oh. And oh, if I stop bashing my head, and people have a right to their um, opinion with their comments and all that sort of stuff. But with the sheep, like knowing this area around here, um, the farmers usually because this property is, what was it, 10,000 acres. And it's pretty full up. So for farmers to come and check their sheep, like big sheep stations, um, it's huge. Um, and it is nature um, weeding out the weak. It sounds horrible, but it's nature doing its thing. So here is the old coal room. Um, and 
if I get my torch happening. Hopefully it will. You can still see the coal on the ground, what's left of it. Uh, and they would have stored stuff up there. Not too sure what they would have stored. Uh, you can see. I don't know if you can see in there, but it looks like some big um, box to store things in. There's actually old bottles mm. and bits and pieces. If you can see, sorry, if you can see in there, I'm not too sure. So this was their storage. Again, it had a cement floor, so I'm not too sure what the, um, it was for. I know that they did store their coal in there though. And this, you gotta check this out. Um, bit of a fair walk um, from the house, main house. Main house over there. And this, like, so much history of this house is just rotting away. It is one of the main historic houses of Australia and it's um, early um, sheep and cattle industry, like I said, the um, late 1800s. And it's left to rot and our history is disappearing. It's most unfortunate. So, over here, check this out. This is so cool. You gotta love this. You've got a kid's thunderbox, seriously cute, and the grown up thunderbox right beside it, purposely built together. And if you look, you can see the stains. You can see the stains on the dark stains where people actually placed their hands while they were on the toilet. How, um, how cool is that? And that one, I don't know if you can see because the torch might blur it out. Um, just here, where my foot is. You can actually see where the kids have been sort of hopping up with their feet to get up on the toilet. This is so amazingly cool and so amazingly built. Check out the way it's been built. It's beautiful and in such perfect condition as well. I can't believe it. Oh, I hope you didn't see this. Keep dry, four dozen large tins. Some sort of fruit. Cool. Would have been some sort of fruit box. That's the same. Keep dry. Absolutely amazing. All right. So there's heaps to show you on this video. It's going to be a very long video. I might need to split it into two. Um. And originally, in my sheep video, oh gosh, a tree's come down. That tree wasn't there. It was a clear driveway going through there. So just behind that tree is where the sheep was, unfortunate. Um, and there's nothing I could have done um, with it. Um, I thought about trying to find a huge rock and smashing it over the head. Um, but because it was in the last throes of its life, poor thing, um, it wasn't up to me to come and smash it on its head, hoping for the best that I was going to kill it and make it suffer even more. It was really quite sad. Um, these trees have all fallen since I was here. As if some of you remember my old, uh, my original um, video, I w went in there. And this house is so much more beautiful during the day. So impressive, tiered um, gardens. Um, if you can see them. 
that go right down um, this wire fence wouldn't have been original um, they would have had the whole side fence wired off so this all would have been garden you got the stairs down here that lead into the lower terraces. I'm thinking maybe the lower terraces of here might have been used for the kitchen garden, for the vegetables and all that sort of business. I'm thinking, um, because of the way it was set up. And this would have been the main pretty garden. Look at that. Is that amazing or is that amazing? That is such a beautiful house. It really is. Um, and yeah, like I said, they would have had these grand gardens with all these flower beds and roses, no doubt, and absolutely gorgeously beautiful. And this part here, I think, maybe, um, because it all joins on somewhere because um, the driveway goes down so there's remnants there's the garage um, that I started in the main house which looks absolutely so impressively stunning um, the lady of the houses um, original probably rose arch maybe I'm thinking this was all still part of the garden everything was terraced and stepped um, so impressive, really, really impressive. All right, let's keep going. So I'm up to 22 minutes. Um, I might need to split this in two. I'm not too sure. So again, you got more stairs here. Um, this bit of garden here is quite interesting. This has come down since I was here. It almost looks like a grave plot. I wouldn't be surprised if it was. Um, I could be wrong. Um, or it's just another um, part of the expansive gardens that just go on forever and ever and ever. Beautiful. Um, let's have a look up here in the sheds. Okay, the original laundry with the old copper. Oh, you're gonna tell me that the old copper's still... You're joking me, the old copper is still in there. Serious, that is amazing. I didn't go in here last time. Um, just so you know, um, because there's so many sheep, sheep have um, been dying everywhere. There's sheep bones here. Um, there's sheep bones in other places. Can you see in here? I'm not too sure. Not too sure what this was for. Something was bolted onto here at one point. There's a hole going through, so there's a pipe. Um, water pump. There you go, maybe. Uh, it was painted white at one point. The roof was, anyway. Okay. Nothing to show me what it might have been. Don't know. Not too sure. The door's in excellent condition. All right, let's go. Sorry, I hope you haven't been blurry that whole time. Um, something was locked in there. 
dogs maybe, I'm not too sure. Um, again, this was all terraced gardens all through here. Um, maybe this was the kitchen garden out here, don't know. The trees obviously would have um, been quite small back then. Um, okay, and here, um, this is where we get into the workers' cottages. Um, every good Englishman needs to have holly for Christmas. So, they had their holly. And ooh, variegated holly as well. Lovely. So maybe this was the kitchen garden. Don't know. Um, all right, try and climb this fence. Um, here now we're getting over into the workers' side of the property. Um, there's here, big slabs with stairs going down further onto the property, so it just goes on forever. It really does. Um, the original here, oh, without killing myself, trying to walk through these. Um, the original uh, workers' cottage here, beautiful. Look at that. Is that stunning or is that stunning? Um, and the impressive drive. Um, not too sure what trees they are. Maybe elms, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure about deciduous trees. But absolutely beautiful. And it would have kept going and at some point gone so you could drive your car into the um, garage. All right, let's keep going. And this was only one room. Hopefully you can see enough. Come on, unblow yourself. Doesn't want to unblur. Okay, I'll try. Oop, without falling through the floor. There you go. Um, just one single room with a big fire, as you can see. And yeah. Definitely a, a worker's cottage. Um, oop, try not to kill myself coming down here. And this looks like it was a later addition. Um, where it was, again, workers, ouch, 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 workers cottage. Sorry, I got myself hooked up on a nail. Um, there was a wall, you can see, there was a wall dividing, but both sides are identical to each other. So, it would have been separate workers sleeping accommodation um, while they were here working on the farm for the sheep. Um, let's keep going. Here is a back Sorry folks, just in case. 
Um, I missed something. Um, the original workers' cottages, I might have repeated myself. Identical on either side, both have separate doors, a wall down the middle, so it was workers' accommodation while they were here. Working when it was um, either um, shearing season or um, for the cattle, whatever it was. So there you go. So my camera decided to stop itself for some reason. So we'll keep going. Here's the back of um, the original shed. Not too sure what this room was for. Um, and then we go, ouch, go around to here. Oh, without getting myself caught up in all the barbed wire that's on the ground. And this could have been, um, I don't know, meals room, kitchen room, something. Still not too sure what it was for. Um, but again, a huge part of the history of, of this area. It's huge. Um, let's go over here. Uh, at some point there was um, a large building here. I'm not too sure what it is because it's too s smashed up now. Maybe it was more um, workers accommodation. Not too sure. Um, but this here is extremely impressive. Um, just get my torch happening first. This is another outhouse that would have been set up for the workers. And I just think this is amazing, this one. Because, right, you've got This bit, which would have been your dressing room or, a, I don't know, washroom or something. And in here, if nothing jumps out on me. Okay. Is the ablution room. There's something growing out of, of the actual holes. Not too sure what it is, but... It's growing out of it. And there's, can you see? There's the original hole, but it, again, so amazingly built. Um, yeah, had some serious, serious money put into this place, definitely. Um, Now, I'll just go down here. Otherwise, I'm walking through there. Um, whatever this was, because of the huge, you can see the huge um, posts and stuff, was a lot bigger. There wasn't huge posts used in the cabin. Um, so, whatever it was, was, ouch, was quite significant. Alrighty. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, the actual name of the property is Abbey Green. I forgot to tell you, sorry. So, um, and walking down the avenue, down the drive, main drive of the property, it would have, yeah, it's just, it really is extremely impressive. I'm waffling, I'm going, blah, 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 blah. Um, like I said, um, there's so many buildings on here. Um, all right. You can see basically where they've put the main um, foundations for the drive along here. Um, 
to make sure you know whatever was driving on here wouldn't sort of get bogged in the mud okay, okay. Oop. 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 another main shed down there that used for something um Stay on the drive for a sec. And I'm thinking, I could be totally wrong. Um, probably the drive went up through here and went out near that um, tree somewhere. Um, some sort of fowl house here. Um, kept well away from the house um, to keep was it a fowl house? no actually looks like some sort of blacksmith's forge or something can I get in there without killing myself? no That was, get out of town. Oh, sorry, you have to look through and hopefully, no, it's got a lot of focus on that. Come on. The old blacksmith's forge, you can still see where the pipe was. That is pretty impressive. That is amazing. Oh my god. Alright. Heaps of tin. Um, Alright, I'll try and go through here. Without killing myself. Again, this would have been um, a worker's cottage. Um, it's interesting that it's near the front entrance. So, did they have a gatekeeper once upon a time? Who knows? Um, it is one room. This opening here. There you go. More dead sheep. Come in here. Oh, is that part of it? Um, more dead sheep down there. Um, just one room. Uh, that would have been covered in tin at some point. Um, and that's where the, the fire was. My obligatory old fridges. Um, so yeah, could have been the main gatekeeper man to make sure people didn't just come in willy-nilly who knows um, and let's see if I can get down oh there you go there's part of the chimney still if you can see that the corrugated chimney still hanging off the old place and There was a gate here at one point. So maybe this was the drive here, don't know. Just like I said, so much history. Um, just disappearing, disappearing into the ground. There's more history. Like what was that? What was that box thing going on in there? You know, so. Um, It'd be nice, it'd be nice if it could be saved, you know, somebody bought it and turned it into, I don't know, 
some sort of tourist information coffee shop or something or other all these outbuildings here uh, ouch um, I'm trying to get down to this place down here if you can see it like I said um, 10,000 acres uh, they would have had heaps going on on here um, they had uh, fresh water there was some sort of fresh water stream or something or other I think I read up a bit um, I hope I'm not repeating myself um, I wish I had more information to be able to give you but I just had to come back here and just film this place um, if for nothing else apart from trying to keep some sort of history of what it looks like now because no doubt like even in that short time those few months that I was here those trees are falling down bits have fallen down that sort of stuff um, and who knows who knows what's going to happen next time I'm here you know um, this place could be falling down now I haven't been here before um, because it was so far down oh and there's more it just keeps going this place just keeps going can you see that down there it just keeps going um, don't know where I can get in Okie dokie. Oh, that's cute. That's very cute. Lovely. Ouch. Sorry, there's thistles. Scotch thistles, and it hurts. Alright. Let's see if I can get up here without killing myself. Oh, poo. Ugh. Poo. Dead sheep down in there. Poof. Oh, shit. Gosh. Can you see that? That was one seriously big sheep. If that was a sheep, who stinks? Amazing. Poof. That's not. <coughs> oh, so cute. You see that? Hang on. This was the kitchen. There you go. There's the sink. Again, the obligatory old fridge. Um, without falling through the floorboards, Michael. Look at this. No. So beautiful old um, cast iron stove. Wood burner. Um, sorry if some of these are, um, I'm using a different one because I knew I was going to be filming a long time. So whoever had this place, that the woman kept it really, kept it really nice. I'm not sure what this room is. Might have been a bedroom, maybe. And this. Smells like there's more dead ones around. Um, out the back here was the washroom and bathroom. So, all right. P U, dead sheep. So, maybe the bedroom here, another bedroom, but look at the wallpaper. So cute and pink. 
So she would have been very house proud, this lady who lived here, no doubt. Um, that's gorgeous. House of dead sheep. Um, so yeah, whether I'm here or not, um, and the farmers can't be watching their sheep every second of the day, um, there are going to be dead ones. All right. Just trying to navigate this without killing myself. All right, let's fucking go down here and have a look. Without. <sighs> oh, I've got the smell of dead sheep in my nose now. Ooh, you'll be whoosh. It is, it's another, oh shit, sheep, scared the shit out of me though. Um, it's another co cottage, definitely another worker's cottage. Um, gosh, this must have been a very huge concern at one point. Um, the people that had it, um, it wasn't a long family um, tree. Um, it basically sort of died out. Um, the, the, it was passed down to the son. Because they didn't have children, it was passed on to the son-in-law. And that's where it all... Oh, my God. This is so gorgeous. Look at that. It's still got the little... Look at that. Okay, I haven't been here, so, oof, there's another one. There you go. Mmm, they're lovely. Okay. The old garage. Bits of dead sheep. Bit of an old fire. Oof. Well, let's see what we got. Not too sure what this is. Laundry by the look of it. There's a tap there. Let's go inside, shall we? No, that's the laundry. Or is it the bath? Don't know. There you go. Here's the kitchen. All again, obligatory fridge. There you go. The old cast iron fuel stove. This one's in far worse condition than the other one. Seems to be far more grand fixtures in this one. This might have been a later, later addition, maybe. Okay, so kitchen and whoop, scare the swallow. You got your fire. Still pretty sound. This one. Lounge. Don't know what we're doing here, but ooh. Ooh. Alright. Okay. So we're going down into an add-on room. Don't know why. There's a dead fox over there. Poor fox. It's dead. And 
you got your veranda out here go down the stairs it was the veranda going up over oh, okay there's another room through there all right let's have a look go past the fox seat okay what am i gonna say in this one <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's dead things everywhere. Fuck. Okay. You got your sheep. All this is fleece. There's one sheep, dead sheep there. There's more dead sheep there. Another dead sheep there. Oh. Another dead sheep there. Uh, phew. I can smell the lanolin. The sheep have got in here, obviously, through this door at some point. The door's shut behind them, stupid sheep, and they've gone and killed themselves. Yay. Uh, really don't know what this room is for. It is, again, a later addition. Um, I'll make sure that this door's closed if I can. Um, so stupid sheep don't go killing themselves. Just be with me a second. Ouch. There you go. So the sheep don't go killing themselves again. A whole lot of wildlife. So I wonder if this wasn't at some point maybe added on as um, wildlife officers maybe because there's an awful lot of bird stuff and animal stuff still left on there. Who knows? Could have been. It is pretty though. Look at that. Very pretty. We'll go this way so I don't break the neck. So there you go. I had to come back. I had to refilm it. It's a huge video, I know, um, but it's it needed to be done. I it was so um, fixated on this place as to what it was all about. Um, see the line where it was added on at one point. Um, you got the avenue of trees that go all the way down, um, marking the boundary fence, don't know. I keep saying I don't know because I don't. Um, I'm surmising a lot, assuming Smart. Is that the same thing? Have no idea. Look at that. Is that prettiness or is that prettiness? Um, and there you go. Um, it needed doing. I needed to do it for myself because it was just so much more to see. And the house deserved more than just me. Um, being affected by a dying sheep. You can see from my video here, um, there's sheep everywhere. Um, don't go slagging off at the, um, the owners of the sheep. Um, it's just the way it is with sheep stations. Um, unless you want to absolutely kill yourself being the owner of a sheep station. 10,000 acres, you know, that's a hell of a lot to cover. Um, and just not feasible. Unless you want to put yourself into an early grave. Um, get myself out of here. All right. I think that might be enough 
for you. Maybe, I don't think you need to see me going. Sorry about my puffing. Um, I did have lung surgery once, uh, a couple of years ago, and I'm fine. But just so, you know, why are you breathing like that? Meh, 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 meh. Um, I just tend to puff a little bit more these days and I've walked all the way from down there through the trees and I'm trying to sort of be as fast as I can oh yeah and I think I've remembered as much as I can. If I haven't, I'll put it down in the description. Um, yeah. Like I said, it's more as a, of a historical record, this one, um, to have there. So people can see what um, it was actually, what was here once before it all does fall down and crumble. There you go. Isn't that pretty? Um, just taking a picture, sorry. Can I make it to the main house? I was hoping these trees would have been a lot more coloured up by now. Um, it doesn't matter, it's still gorgeous. Ouch. There's a whole lot of rubbish on the ground. I'm trying to make sure that camera is not blurry looking in the viewfinder um, and make sure I'm, ow, making sure it's all right um, there's another dead sheep I still have the smell of bloody sheep in my nose it's gross some might have been an Avery at one point Mrs. might have wanted an ovary. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> if you're bored, if you've made it through this video, thank you very much. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, if you do like this video, I'll get the, oh, the, ouch, get all that out of the way. You, ow, now I'm trying to break my bloody head. All right, if you like this video, I'll start again. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you liked it, like all my videos, please subscribe and please share. I'd love you to share this video to get the word out that you've got this amazingly beautiful historic homestead um, begging to be restored basically. Um, because it deserves it, big time. Oh.